there are so many myths. I can get the same performance out of a different product, out of say a fibrous product, whether that be batten insulations, blown in loose fill insulations, fiberglass or cellulose or rock wool, you know, take your pick. We do have to remember when you're comparing those, the industry was designed initially to compare just on our value. Well, that's only one mode of heat transfer and so I remember learning of the three modes of heat transfer back in middle school and high school. So I, I don't mean to be condescending on this, but we have to remember it transfers in three ways. Induction, and so, convection, and radiation. That's right. So does your insulation account for all three or does it just account for one? Does it account for two of them? The more, the better. And really what that means is the more modes of heat transfer that you can take care of, the less overall product you need. And so the building codes are finally catching up to that. We'll probably see that in the next 60 years that it's nationally adopted across the board to acknowledge that fact.